Armenian Architecture During the Zakarian Dynasty The Armenian architecture lived another period of prosperity during the reign of the Zakarian dynasty. The members of this family continued the work of Pakratunis. They renovated and enlarged old monasteries and built new ones as well. The most notable architectural structures built by the Zakarian family are the Gerartavank, Makaravank, Koshavank, Samosavank, Hovanavank, Harijavank, Kicheris monasteries, and other buildings. Kegartavank is located in the region of Kotaik, 40 kilometers southeast of Yerevan. The monastery has been in existence since the Middle Ages. It was one of the spiritual and cultural centers of Armenia. Besides the religious buildings, the monastery included school, writing center, and library. This monastery is famous for its caves and churches hewn in rocks. The main buildings of the monastery are the main church with the adjoining parvis, the two churches hewn in the mountain, the portal, the tombs, and the storage and kitchen are protected in the northern side by a vertically extended mount, and from the other side they are protected by stone ramparts. The main church which has cruciform plan was built in 1215. The eastern altar is semicircular. The remaining sidearms of the cross are rectangular. The vestries are located at the four corners of the church and their corners support the dome. The architecture of the interior enhances the soaring quality of the church. The interior and the exterior walls have beautiful bar lifts. The parvis of the church was added in 1220. The rectangular shaped hall is very spacious with dimensions of 15 meters by 16.6 meters. The central arcade of pillars are attached to the opposite wall which divide the hall into one large central hall and eight small halls parallel to the walls. In the 13th century, the monastery was transferred from the Zakarian family to the Prussian princes. The first rock-hewn church is called Pu. It was built in the middle of the 13th century. The entrance is from the northwestern side of the Parvis. The plan of the church is square. The main semicircular altar is located at the eastern end. At the northern wall, there is a pool where the ground water used to collect. There is a central pillar card from rock, which divides the hall into two arched areas. The arches have bar lifts depicting leashed lions, which is the emblem of the Prussian princes. There is a very exquisite cross sculpture at the entrance of the church. The greatest building of the monastery complex is the St. Asvatatsin Church, hewn in rock. It was built in 1283. It is similar to the main church by its architectural composition. The most spacious rock-hewn structure was built in 1288 by Prince Prosh, son of Papak. He built a portal which has a rectangular plan with four pillars at the center supporting the dome. There are many pedestals and rock-hewn crosses around the area of the monastery. Both the internal and external walls of the monastery are decorated with highly refined and delicate bar lifts. Another magnificent structure of the Zakarian dynasty is the monastery of Hagartin. It was founded in the 11th century and the construction continued until the 13th century. It is located in the region of Tabush, midst of forests. The monastery is in complete harmony with its natural surroundings. The main church of the monastery is the Church of St. Grigol, which was built during the 10th to 11th centuries. The monastery was destroyed by the Seljuk Turks in the middle of the 11th century, but it was reconstructed in 1184. It is 8.7 meters wide and 9.4 meters long rectangular from the outside and cruciform from the inside. The main altar is in the eastern end 
and the four corners of the church house the four vestries. The parva is 10.7 meters by 12.7 meters, was added in the middle of the 13th century. The next church of the monastery is the Church of St. Asvatati. It was built in 1281. It is rectangular with 11.4 meters by 14.5 meter dimensions from the outside and cruciform in the inside. The altar is located at the eastern side flanked by two vestries. The church has two entrances in the western and the southern sides. The facades of the entrances are beautifully ornamented. So are the exterior walls of the church. The refectory was built in 1284, which has an area of 200 meters squared rectangular structure. The St. Catholic Chapel was built in 1194. The St. Stepanos Church was built in 1244, few meters east of St. Grigor. The internal plan is cruciform and the external is rectangular. The main altar is semicircular. The four corners of the church have vestries. On the western wall, there are inscriptions about the rebuilding of the church during the 17th century. The next monastery is the Monastery of Getik or Goshavank. It is located in the village of Gosh, 15 kilometers east of the city Dilijan. The monastery was founded in the 12th century by the revered scientist, law expert, spiritual leader, and proverb writer, Mahitar Gosh, in the place of the Gerik Monastery destroyed by the earthquake of 1186. Here, they used to teach law, history, philosophy, as well as painting and music. The first church of the monastery is the Church of St. Asvatatin, built in 1190 by the architect Mahitar Husen. It is a cruciform-shaped central dome church with a central semicircular altar at the eastern end flanked by two vestries. It has two entrances, one from the western and the other from the northern side. The eastern and the southern walls have triangular niches. The portal was built in 1197 to 1203. The St. Gregory Church of the Monastery was built in 1241, very similar to the St. Asvatatin Church. The next church of the monastery is the Church of the St. Illuminator built in the years of 1237 to 41. It belongs to the single nave churches category. It differs from the others by its delicate decorations of the external walls. The western entrance is very impressive. The writing center was built in 1241 and the bell tower in 1291. The structure has two floors. The writing center is in the first floor and the second floor is the belfry. The jewels of the Goshavank are the cross monuments which are highly artistic with engravings as delicate as needlework. These sculptures are the most important monuments of Armenian creative art. Another example of 13th century Armenian architecture is the Noravank Monastery. It is located 3 kilometers east of village Noravank of Vyotso region. It is surrounded by inaccessible mountains. It is one of the important spiritual and cultural centers of Armenia. It houses the tombs of the Orbelian princes. In the 13th to 14th centuries, it was the Patriarchate of the Sunic region. Noravank was founded by Bishop Hovannes. The monastery complex is protected by ramparts. It includes four churches, a portal, and